Okay, first off, let me show you what you get with this thing. So it came with this package right here. By the way, I've already had this thing out and used it and verified everything was good on it. And it definitely works really well. It's got these two attachments here. And this is kind of your standard solar panel attachment there. It has that attachment here that will go into like some, maybe some alligator clips or something like that. USB, you got two USB outs and two USB. So that's USB A and two USB C coming out right there. You get a a series a lot of different type of barrel attachments you can see that so all kinds of barrel attachments and then I think that's called an maybe Anderson clip there one of these is and then it has a barrel plug just a standard barrel plug on the end of it so some of them you might not need I noticed on my veto man I didn't need it and then on the blue Yeti I did need that attachment there which I think is an 8 mil and this might be a four or five mil right there and then also you get a little user manual here and let me just kind of like go over actually some of the specs for y'all here the peak power on this is 200 watts the cell efficiency efficiency is 23 percent power voltage is 18 volts coming out uh power current is a 12 amps and open circuit 21 this is a lot of numbers maybe not a lot of people need but you know what i'm giving them to you anyway and then the usb a output is a 5 volt 9 volt 12 volt and 18 volts so that's an 18 volt output there and i will put those to the test and see how they work some little safety tips right there and i think that's it so yeah let me go ahead and set this thing up while we still have a little bit of sunshine let's see what this thing looks like you see right here is the cord We'll zip that up and you know what just in case you want to know all the information on this is right here the cell efficiency 23 percent power voltage wattage and all that is also inside there so let me go ahead and you can see how this has these little spots right here and this can go from different angles 60 degree 40 degree and i think 20 degree you can do a lot of different angles on the legs right there so what i like to do is just lay it out like this First one I'm gonna try is the one that has the Anderson connection into the barrel plug. And I think this barrel plug's the five mil, which fits mine. And these are just basic solar connectors there, very simple. These are really good connectors too to have. And this connector should fit right in. So I don't need the adjustment on this one. I'll need the adjustable barrel plug on this one. And as soon as I plug it in, you can see I'm at 80, 76. It went from 82 to 76. Let's let it sit here a little bit. Okay, everybody, it's been about maybe 30 minutes here. I've let this thing go. I went ahead and pulled up my area for what my optimal angle is. My year-round angle looks like they're suggesting 29.2 degrees tilt, and it is August, so it's 24.2. Now, I have it right at about 30 degrees on this tilt right here. So I do have a pretty good tilt that I'm just going to go with. I would adjust it more, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to stay right here because the sun is shining directly down on it. So this is going about 30 minutes. We are at 90 watts of input on the solar panel. Now it is a 200 watt solar panel and it will fluctuate. So just because of that, Blue Yeti here. Now as soon as we plugged it in, you're going to see it start jumping. It's at 45 already. I don't know if you can see it in the, oops, I accidentally, let's let it sit here a minute. I'm going to let that sit here just a minute, then we'll come back and look at it. Probably been about 10 minutes. Let's check it out now. Actually, i got to turn the display back on. The Blue Eddy is going at 134 watts of input power. That's 51%. That will charge this thing fast. This is a 260 watt. This is a 600 watt max as far as this is the Blue Yeti EB3A. So it looks like this one kind of capped it at, for whatever reason, 95. And this one's hitting 135, which is very impressive on that solar panel. Now, given that you can see the sun is right there, and you see exactly where it's hitting on the panels. I would rotate those panels maybe a little more and I think I can max the input, but if you're getting 134 to 150 on a 200 watt solar panel during the day like this, that's very impressive. That is impressive, everybody. Okay, I don't know if you can see it in the camera there, but we're at 139, 140 as far as like max. Now what I'm gonna do, let's unplug these 
plug in our box here and let's see how much we can get out of this box. We just charge in a power bank and an iPhone. Just plugged in my little power bank here. It looks like we're getting 11 point nine watts of coming in now this thing will not max too high it's a small little power bank so it's not the fault of the panel but it's charging super fast 1.6 volts well it's also charging the iphone so i've got the iphone charging and a power bank charging it's going to pump out 140 to 150 watts on one of these power banks it'll definitely charge a power bank like that and an iPhone pretty easy. Everybody, I've been very impressed with this solar panel. This is something I'm gonna definitely use amongst my travels on when I'm camping, out on an RV, maybe out on a boat or something like that. Highly recommend having this with you because you can just charge a full on trolling motor battery, power stations. But yeah, there it is everybody. That's all I got on the Solo Pup 200 watt solar panel, portable. See y'all in the next video.